Miko Ilanen's looking to defend his Irish Open title this week at Royal County Down. The 35-year-old claimed the fourth of his five European Tour wins with a wire-to-wire -wire victory at Fodder Island as he completed the best season of his 14-year career so far. Anna Whiteley's had a chat with him for Golfing World ahead of his 10th Irish Open. Mikko Willenen, Irish Open defending champion, and what a performance it was that we saw from you last year. How are you feeling going into that week? I feel good because it's, it's uh, Ireland has always brought me some good memories. I've won there as an amateur and now I've, uh, I've won there as, an, as a pro as well. So it's, it's nice to go back to a venue that um, we played back in the amateur days. We played the amateur there in 99 when Graham Storm won. And what an opening round we saw from you last year, mm. 64, it was a course record. What are your highlights from your first day? Playing with Oli, the captain, of course, you know, the, it, it was probably the, the best thing out of it, out of that day anyway, you know, it's, it's always nice to play with the legend and, and play good when, when, when you play with, with someone, someone like that. And when you're leading every day with a wide to wide victory, mm. mentally, how do you stay focused and is it different from when you're in the chasing pack? Yeah, obviously it's different, you know, but uh, once you do it from Thursday on, you sort of get used to it. Plenty of power. Oh, that's a great shot from where he was, right on line. I felt like I'd sort of got used to it and I, I didn't feel extra butterflies on, you know, during Saturday, Sunday night. I slept good. Uh, I, was, I was pretty confident that, uh, that we, we can do the job if we just, you know, focus on, the, on, on one thing at a time. And obviously this year is set to be a big one. We've got Rory, Ricky playing. It's almost as close to a major as we could get on the European tour. Yeah, it's, a good, it's setting up, a, you know, it's a really good field. We're glad to see that, that so the high profile players are, are taking part in this um, the regular tour events and, and it's it's crucial for the tour and, and it's great for the Irish Open. It seems like part of your great performance out on the course last year was also a big thing to do with your caddy Reggie who you've always been very dedicated to and you yeah. have a great relationship. Tell us about your friendship with him. Yeah we've been we've been together with Reggie about nine years now so it's been a love and hate relationship as, as any really. Unfortunately it seems like it might come to an end end of this year. Reggie is uh, going to start enjoying life after after this season and and maybe settle settle down in in South Africa again. And uh, at least that's the plan. That's that's the latest news that I, what, what I've heard. So it's been a good one and it's one of the longest relationships out there. So uh, it's something to be proud of. And when you find that special bond with a caddy, and like you say, Reggie's thinking about moving on, is that a worry for you that you won't find that again? Not really, no. I, I, I had a, I had American caddy in the first five years when I turned pro. It felt after that five years is the, the perfect time to change. And I think after these nine years, I think it's going to be the perfect time to change again. So I doubt that there's going to be that many caddies around, you know, in my career anymore. Maybe one or two more, but that's about it. I'm not going to play when I'm 65, so I'm not going to go through a lot of caddies anyway. Well, so looking ahead, you had two wins last year. Mm. Looking ahead to the Ryder Cup, what do you think you personally need to do to become the first player from Finland to be a part of the team? I need to keep winning. You know, I, I, I haven't won enough tournaments on the European Tour or, or worldwide tours. Uh, uh, so I need to start performing in the, in the bigger events. Um, last year in the PGA was a, a good start. Uh, finished top 10 there, so we need more of those and perhaps you know get get into top fives and give yourself a, a chance to win one of those that, that'll be the you know the the main focus anyway and when you're not playing where are you based at the moment in finland in in lati yeah so when you are back home and you have got a bit of downtime yeah what do you enjoy spending your time doing well uh, nowadays i have two kids year and a half three and a half boy and a girl so there's mm, no problems of spending the free time because there's none when i'm home so 100% with the family when I'm when I'm home. Of course, I have my practice times and this and that, but uh, most of it is with the family, definitely. Well, Miko, best of luck this year. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much.